Yes, my peoples, it's T. And yes, I am back with another Apprentice reaction. And week five, wow, what a week. Um, this may be a slightly long episode because I have a lot to say about week five. Um, and also apologies for the slight delay in the release of this video. Um, I've been on my travel, so I'm all out of sync with my week. So I completely forgot about The Apprentice. Just watched it now and I'm shooting this reaction for you guys. So yes, without further ado, let's get it. So yeah, week five, it's all about climate change. It's all about being green and the contestants had a task to sell an electric, sorry, I say sell, to market an electric motorbike essentially. So they had to, they had to do a marketing campaign. They had to, to do a name, a TV ad, and also a digital billboard. And initially, one of the teams, three people put themselves forward. In the end, um, I think it was Mark, Marnie, and Zohel put themselves forward to be PM. In the end, it was a vote. Marnie won that vote as PM. Um, is it a good choice that she was PM? Um, she admitted before the vote that she knows nothing about the product, nothing about electric bikes or motorbikes in general. Um, whereas um, somebody else, I think Mark said he knows a little bit about bicycles and Zohil said this as well. He has some you know experience in that. So, but she wanted to be PM because she's she wants to focus on design, which that could be a good choice. And then in the other team, we had Brad as PM. Um, mentioned something around a a cafe a, a caf, cafe bike or whatever. Um, I didn't know what this was either, to be fair. But um, and he had a name. He actually came up with a name already and a design. A caf e racer, which you know paying homage to the actual type of bike the bike is, which is which is quite good. Um, but yeah, um, Brad wanted to aim it at Gen Z, um, and Mark and other team suggested to, to aim it at, at businesses. Um, personally, as soon as he said that, I knew he wasn't actually thinking straight because, um, why would businesses really need motorbikes, an electric motorbike, maybe a moped if you Uber Eats, but again, that's individual people. So I'm not sure what that was, but, um, Marnie, um, as she is the PM, um, she has an interesting strategy to focus purely on basically looks, the aesthetics of the bicycle, to redefine the mindset of the petrol heads as opposed to, you know, just wanting petrol, but to actually, you know, being open to using electric bikes, etc. Et so interesting. It could work. It may not because um, it's kind of, you know, you're not really thinking about the, the product per se. And you're kind of just trying to sell it based off looks, which is interesting. Um, and then initially there was a bit on the billboard and branding team, um, Simba, Brad and Danny. That's what Brad suggested as the PM. Um, <laughs> and then um, Brad actually kind of, you know, um, nominated Joe to be the sub team leader. I can tell he does not trust Sajia in the slightest bit because she actually said, Oh, I have experience. I have a degree in marketing and advertising, um, et cetera, et cetera. And Joe still, um, and Brad still tried to get Joe to be sub team leader. Eventually, um, she convinced and changed Brad's mind and she was actually, um, she actually became the sub team leader. Is that a good idea? Should he have stuck with his gut and not trusted her? Or should he have? I guess we'll find out in the end of this reaction. Um, anyway, either way, it all changed. It all changed in the end. Um, Again, I never, I never input from Sajia that she wanted to be specifically on the branding team, the team that decides the name and creates, you know, um, the billboard essentially. So it all changed. So we ended up being, so we changed, so Brad changed it again. It was Avi, Joe and Simba on the bill, um, on the billboard and branding team. Am I mixing this up? And either way. And then, yeah, it was, um, and Sajia. And then it was, yeah, Brad, um, Danny and Rochelle. In the, in, in the other team, um, focusing on under on the, on the, the TV ad, essentially. Um, so, yeah, honestly, honestly, um, Sajia, for me personally, I have no faith in her at all. Um, but let's see what let's see what happens. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep obviously watching through the episode and I'll, I'll get I'll get to, to what happens in the end. But um, I can tell that Brad left Simba because initially it was him, him, Simba and Danny. I think Brad left Simba on that team to quietly lead from the back um, just because he clearly doesn't trust Sajia. But Sajia did though say some very good things about being simple and, con and, con 
and concise, which is, you know, very important elements and factors in marketing. Um, for sure, if you want people to be engaged. And yeah, as soon as they got in the car, as soon as they got in the car, they all, well, Sajid mainly, but instantly changed the, the, the plan of the, the PM, the leader. Um, bit of a dangerous game to change the entire name, um, with, 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 with which the PM clearly, which Brad clearly instructed, instructed, and yeah, they changed the whole name without without any communication of that. Um, but it could actually help them because the, the initial name, the, the cafe one, I don't know, like not, not many people, not many people would associate cafe, cafe, whatever, with electric bike. So um, yeah, it could help them or it could hinder them. Um, to be fair, I think the original name, the cafe, was quite poor. But yeah, then to make it worse, I thought cafe was poor, but Avi my favorite character <laughs> not my favorite opposite obviously as, as you know if you've been watching these for the last few weeks with me avi came up with the name zip zap and wow that tagline zip along in a zap what the hell is going on with avi every week it just never ceases to amaze me never ceases to amaze me so yeah um the two sides are gonna have a completely different vision um the name though yeah it's not great not great at all um and then the other team with Zah Zahel, Marnie and Mark, um, they call their product soldier. So just 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 a soldier. And the tagline is ride dirty, drive clean. What the hell? That's all that's all I have to say about that is what is going on in these people's minds. Like, wow, where where did Alan Sugar find these people this year? It's just every week is just a, a shambles. A shambles. Um and then when it came to actually designing the logo and all of that jazz. Sajia completely ignored everybody, just going off into a, a tangent, doing her own thing. Um, and the logo was a travesty. Like, it looks like a five year old sat down and just um, had um, paint open and just brought in a bunch of just random stuff onto a, a, a white background. And just, yeah, it, very poor, very poor, big mess. But laugh out loud at Simba um, when Sajia asked, so what do we think of it, guys? And he was like, yep, we have a logo. <laughs> uh, so, so, um, yeah, so, so funny that was. But anyway, um, and then onto the other team, Brad, Danny and Rochelle. They was coming up with, basically, Danny and Rochelle were having so much ideas. That they was talking about the whole plot. And Brad was just like, hmm, yeah, literally. To be fair, sometimes... As a leader, you need to just just listen. To be fair, and if you if you agree with something, then fine. But yeah, that seemed a little bit bit weird there for me. But um, overall, I think those three work quite well together. To be fair, um, and then the other team, Reese, Victoria, and Megan, they look like they was losing the complete focus and purpose of the actual advertisement, which is the electric bike. Like they were just making literally almost an ad, an ad for a couple. They were just focused on the story of this man and woman. Where is the bike element? Where's the electric element of this? Um, and then they chose an actor, which I get it, they're trying to stick to the brief, but chose an actor that can't even ride a bike. So, we're, so what? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, the one thing, though, I did like in that team with Reese and Victoria and Megan is that Victoria, to be fair, Victoria was a, I don't think she done much, but she was a, a bit of a bright, a bright spark out of, out of a very dull, dull week this week. Um, she essentially was always banging on about yo let's keep focus on the bike let's keep focus on the bike we need to stop focusing on these two actors let's just put it on the bike um so she tried and um but yeah with this this lack of actor this sorry this lack of bike riding person um danny saved the day in the ever team um by changing the story it still wasn't great not having a non-riding actor that had to t to roll the bike in ridiculous ridiculous and then brad brad cannot act at all um he can't be enthusiastic this is his face at all times yeah i don't agree with that yeah i think it could be better that's absolutely shocking that's literally brad like literally the whole time yeah he can't be enthusiastic about anything like yeah that's that's really great guys i like that yeah dead um so yeah and the brands the brands overall were just poor like one didn't even show the bike um that is an e-bike the ever ad, they didn't didn't ride it, um, and the reveal the reveal to Brad um, was hilarious. He went from smiles to instant straight faces, instant like it was mad. But anyway, um, I never good idea from Victoria as well before the pitch. Um, 
talking about the, the the logos like they could have actually poor logo overall but they could have jazzed it up jazzed it up by by making the, the you know the o a wheel just so it at least ha identifies some sort of you know moving vehicle <laughs> um yeah so yeah i'm very intrigued to see what happens in the boardroom debrief um Danny did have some good ideas for the ad as well. Um, the public had no idea that that soldier was an e-bike. And Sajia and Cole, and Cole, their logo looked like Zif Zaf. Again, really poor. It doesn't even, either way, it's, it's just ridiculously poor. Um, and then Brad chose Avi and Danny to come in with him in the pitch because nobody else wanted to, to, to do it from the branding side. Um, and Marnie, Reese, and Zohel was on the pitch for... Ever team, listen. I forgot that Zahel was even part of this comp this episode or this entire show. To be fair, I haven't seen him in 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 the previous four weeks. And today, where was he? Where was he today? He didn't say a word for the whole task, except for like two things. Like yes, yeah, yes, I agree with that. Where was Zahel? Oh, yeah, poor, um, poor, poor, poor. The focus on sex appeal was not liked at all. Um, which, to be fair, I agree. Like, what's what is the purpose? Like, trying to. You're trying to sell a green, eco-friendly motorbike. What, what what is the correlation between trying to buy a sexy bike? Ridiculous. Um, and Marnie, yeah, when they pulled up on that, Marnie was just waffling with her answer. Waffling. Um, and exactly what Victoria was saying earlier about focus, focus on the product, focus on the bike. Um, because the product was lost. That's exactly what was called out by the experts as well. Um. And yes, I completely missed that myself as well about, about the word drive. Drive, what? What was that? Like that that word in that in that world for real in terms of like motorbikes. You don't use the word drive at all. So big miss there. Um but yeah, all I can say is going back to, to um to Brad Avi and Danny. Avi is an absolute idiot. Um what kind of question is that to ask adults? Adults that work in marketing specifically as well. Of course, you know what an onomatopoeia is. How can you go there? Do you really know what onomatopoeia is? He's acting like he's talking to a bunch of five-year-old kids in a school. Can you raise your hand if you know what onomatopoeia is? Uh, listen, I said it before and I say it again. And I say it every week until, he, until, he, until he's gone. Avi is an absolute joke, man. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this guy. I'm tired of him. Joke, man. Joke, man. He's literally wasting space in, in, that, in that process. It could have been another person who actually, you know, has some credibility. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. The specialist also was a savage. Um, he was calling out Avi on his on his poorness with the the name Zip Zap as well. Um, and with Avi, it's almost like he's just a big child. He's like he waffles and he doesn't seem like he's all there. To be honest, he seems like it's actually a child. Not to just go in on him, but oh, yeah. Um, you, as you can tell, I'm tired of him. Tired of him. Um, so yeah, they won't be getting any good feedback from the experts. That's for sure. But. To be fair, overall, both teams again this week were very, very poor. This is literally probably the worst group of concert of contestants in a while. I think I've seen literally the worst group. Um, everybody just seemed. <coughs> oh my god! I might be cutting that out. <clears throat> even, even, even just, just just talking about them, making me, making me choke up, making me choke up. But yeah, this group of contestants is the worst I've seen in a while. Like literally everybody just seems so incompetent. It's unbelievable. Incompetent. And, and going back to Zahel, I keep forgetting he's there. I keep forgetting he is there. He does not exist. It's just like he doesn't exist. Um, what is going on? But anyway, um, Apex in the end was better than Affinity. Um, that's the team that was led by Marnie. So the team with Brad lost. Um, but honestly, both of them were super, super, super rubbish this week again. Um, and the treats, I swear the treats this year have been so basic. Like e-carts as a gift. I've actually been there quite recently to to um, that place that, that Alan Sugar sent them, the e-carts in Wandsworth, a Gravity. Um, I was there quite recently and, yo, it's it's fun, but it's a maximum of 10 minutes of running some, some electric carts. It's not really a treat, is it? <laughs> um, and Zahel was talking a lot about the e-karting after they won. Um, it's the most I've heard him talk at all in the whole show. Um, literally, he's lucky his team won because he probably would have went home. He was just not not there. Um, 
But yeah, in the end, Brad losing team, he brought back the right two people. He brought back Avi, um, who seems to be always, always smirking as well, like he's not taking anything serious. And Sajia, he brought back her too, um, who just seems to be in her own planet entirely, just on her own world. I have no idea what to think about Brad either. So, but anyway, Sajia, um, her eye rolls, her eye rolls and all of the, the little head movements and stuff that she does just feels so unprofessional as well. Um, but in the end, she got sent home and I believe that was definitely the right choice for me. Definitely the right choice for me. Um, I've been saying this since week one, that she will be gone soon, that she will be gone soon because she was in her own world and I, I didn't rate her at all. She just always would speak rubbish. Every time she spoke, most, except for like once or twice, she, it just sounded like she was speaking absolute rubbish, just rubbish, just just yeah she had ideas but just it was ideas for ideas sake it was nothing of any use in my opinion anyway um and i'll really i would really love to know her business idea and how and how she is in her actual her day job because wow 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 um also avi again i'm saying it again mark my words avi will be gone soon as well because he's absolutely shocking shocking zahel I don't, i'm not sure what to think about him because he's not even he's, he's not really about but avi yeah, he he gets involved, but yeah, he's shocking. So, um, but to be fair, most of them are shocking this year. Um, so yeah, that leaves twelve people left, and in week six they will be going to Dubai. So I think this will be very very interesting, and I'm very intrigued to see how this goes, and to see who actually goes goes home this on this occasion. Very very intrigued. So yeah, that was Apprentice. That was my thoughts and my opinions. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this week's episode. And yeah, if, you, if you're looking forward to week six in Dubai. And yeah, that was Jam Pack T reaction to Apprentice Series 17, Episode 5, Week 5. Let's get it. See you next week.